Well, breaking news within the past 45 minutes, a donor says he is stepping forward to help pay for the renaming of McCarran International Airport. Well, this comes as the Clark County Commission voted to change the name of the largest airport here in Clark County. And 13 Investigates reporter Joe Bartels uh, joins us live at what still is technically McCarran International Airport with the details. Joe. Yeah, Todd Trisha, the Clark County Commission listened to several public speakers, both for and against this idea. We are just a stone's throw away from the iconic Welcome to Las Vegas sign. And there's another sign I want to show you. Take a live look right now at the McCarran Field Executive Terminal sign. It says it dates back to the 40s. The name McCarran may come down pending the final approval by the FAA. The airport was named in honor of former Nevada Senator Patrick McCarran, who represented Nevada between 1933 and 1954. Some say he supported supported racist, anti-immigrant and anti-Semitic policies, but was also a huge supporter of aviation. Just hours ago, the Clark County Commission decided unanimously to remove the McCarran name and legacy from the airport and instead rename it in honor of former Nevada Senator Harry Reid. This has drawn fierce reaction from for both and against the idea. And just moments ago, we learned that businessman Stephen J. Klubeck, the founder of Diamond Resorts International, will help fund the rebranding efforts of the airport. Listen here. To pay for all the signage and also the vendors uh, menus or business cards. So not one vendor at the airport, not one concessionaire will have to spend a penny. With that, I'm leading the charge for this fundraising effort and giving the first million dollars out of my foundation. And to say, yeah, okay, think about this guy. And and now you are going to have to fly to his airport and you know, hear all the, the stories of him. And I think people will express their displeasure. I think there's a commercial cost to that. And I don't think we really understand what that is at this point. And as you heard there, some voicing their frustration over the decision, calling former Senate Majority Leader Harry Reid too partisan to receive this honor, and some questioning why this was not a more transparent and open process for other ideas or names to be considered. Now, as for this fundraising effort, we're told that they're going to start this 501c3 in the coming weeks, and they will be setting that up, and no taxpayer dollars will be spent on this. Reporting live, Joe Bartels, 13 Action News. All right, Joe, thank you for that. In the meantime, Reid is sending out a statement about the rename vote writing quote it is with humility that I express my appreciation for the recognition today I would like to express my deep gratitude to Commissioner Tick Sagerbloom the entire Clark County Commission and the many others who have played a part in this renaming and before the vote we asked our viewers what they thought the airport should be named and there was significant support for calling it the Las Vegas International Airport Nearly tied for second place was Wayne Newton or Howard Hughes International Airport. Harry Reid came in last place.